Hello everyone, what is up? How y'all all doing today? It's your girl. Hope y'all are all having a great day. And you know what I always say, honey, if you're not having a great day, well, you better get it together. In the previous part of the Legacy series, girl, I'm so excited. It's Legacy, whoop, whoop. Legacy. Okay, I know. <laughs> I'm acting crazy, okay? I haven't eaten today. I get a little crazy when I don't eat, okay? So, welcome back to part number 21 of the Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. In the previous part, if you guys did not check it out, basically what happened is Mr. Cameron aged up and we found out that our girl Selena is pregnant, okay? A lot of you guys actually believe that our next baby is gonna be a girl and I'm so excited. I hope you guys speak it into an existence because honestly, I really do want a baby girl and I kind of have a really weird feeling that we're gonna have a boy but i don't know actually i don't know i kind of feel like we're gonna have a girl I i'm gonna go with a girl that's gonna be my bet for this time I'm, I'm i have a feeling that we're gonna have a girl we gonna have a girl we gonna hope um but i live for these cute little moments of mama and son he looks so much like his mom it's crazy um but anyways so i hope you guys are enjoyed my video earlier today um i am doing up double uploads this or just today because obviously I had a lot going on, so I got a double upload, girl. Um, but anyways, so right now, Cameron is eating his food. Um, I actually wanted our girl, Selena, to go to the spa today and get a massage because that's something that she's been wanting to do for a while, and I just haven't gotten her to do it yet. So that's definitely something we're going to do today. And she also wants to woohoo with Ross, which I think is super sexy. Um, but I am going to go ahead and have her go out to the... The spa and we are gonna go ahead and get the most expensive massage that we can get so we're gonna get a deep tissue masseuse and um, yeah Ross is working on the car at the moment I wanted him to work on it just a little bit um, while our little boy hangs out and then I think I'm gonna have Ross take Cameron to the beach so they can spend some quality at father-son time together but for right now let's go ahead and I want to get him something to do. Hmm. We'll go with this thing. Get him the little peg box. He can play in his room or something. So I'm just going to have Cameron play by himself for a bit. All right, you guys. So as I said, um, our girl is actually heading to the theater. So I mean, not the theater. Oh, my gosh, girl. Oh, my gosh. Okay. She is um, heading over to get a masseuse. So I'm going to let her do that. And then, ooh, oh, my gosh. Hold on. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I went to go eat because I was hungry. Um, okay, so let's see. Our baby is still complaining. Like <laughs> He's having a really hard time with his peg box. By the way, do you guys like his PJs? Look how cute they are. He's so cute. I love him. Although this little leg spray we got going on look a little wretched. But that's okay. He's a toddler. We're not going to judge him. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on with Mr. Ross. He's actually super close to increasing his logic, so I'm really excited about that. I'm going to kind of speed through, though, because he would be so close. Just hurry up. Like, you're so close. As long as he, he doesn't have to finish the car, I just want him to get his logic done. And by the way, I know, I know, you guys. You don't have to tell me I need to do the car dealership. I know. I keep saying I'm going to do it and I don't build it, but I promise spring break is coming up next week. So I will be building. Oh no, I'm going to be out of town. Oh, well, <laughs> I will try to build the car dealership. It probably won't be the most beautiful thing in the world, but I mean, Hey, we got to start somewhere. So we going to do it. I promise. But, um, right now, let me actually get a picnic basket because I'm thinking about having a family day at the beach, but we're going to probably wait until later to, uh, let's see. Like, Selena's probably going to have to meet us there. But let's go ahead and get the stuff first. All right. Cool. So, yeah. We are going to go ahead and go. Because Ross is, like, Ross, you're done. You are done. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the... I forgot we had honey from the last part. Or whatever part it was where we went to the festival. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have them go to the beach together. And we are going to take Cameron. I would take Shadow if Shadow was a dog, but Shadow's obviously a cat. So I really don't see the purpose of him going because he's not really bringing anything interesting to the table. So there's really no point of having him. But 
Um, next time when we go somewhere that is like a park or something, we will definitely invite our little cam cam, maybe, probably not, honestly, <laughs> or not a little cam cam. Oh my gosh. Our little kitty. What is your name again? I forgot. Shadow, whatever. Who cares? Okay. So let's go. Ross, hurry up. We don't have all day. Like I literally am waiting for you. Stop. Play oh, really? As soon as we're ready to go to the beach, it starts raining. It's okay, we're still going, who cares? Um, somebody knocked over our trash can. Oh, it's hailing. Oh, that's safe. Whatever, we're still going, I don't care. Come on, lazy butts. All right, we're gonna go. And we also need to pay our bills, but it's not that big of a, a emergency. Um, it's a little weird that it's hailing because like, isn't it spring? Like, I feel like hail should not exist as often as it does in The Sims 3 because first off, at least where I'm from, hail is very uncommon. Like hail probably happens like maybe once every blue moon. I think I've only seen hail twice here and that was it. So it's just kind of like, girl, it ain't done happen that often. It definitely does not happen during the spring. I think hail happens more when it's cold because the rain gets icy and then it starts to hail. I don't know how that whole thing works. I'm not good at science. I failed science. Anyways. Oh, look, there's a little horsey. Oh, my God. Look at its weave. Yes, girl. Okay, anyways. So we are going to go ahead and have Selena meet us here as well. Um, it is a little bit like this hail is so annoying. It's going to get annoying real quick. All right. I want to know if we can play in the ocean with Cameron. I hope. I think this, the... Um, Hill may be a little bit too steep, but yep, it's a little too steep. Crap, is there anywhere else we could go? Like on this dock or something? There's like no location that's not steep because like it's all too steep so we couldn't play in the ocean even if we wanted to. But there is some cute festival stuff because the festival is right here. Um, there is a few cute festival things, but I feel like he would only be able to do it by himself and that's kind of whack. So, hmm, there's no like thing for toddlers over here. It's literally just adult stuff. So sadly, I don't think that that's something that we could do. Even taking him to the park, I just feel like there's not enough for him to do. So with that being said, hmm, you know what we're going to do? We are going to just teach him how to, well, first off, let's change his outfit to his outerwear because he's probably hot as heck in that freaking dinosaur onesie. I changed his outerwear to something a little bit more casual since it is, um, I honestly feel like with outerwear, you should be able to change your toddlers to swimwear, but whatever. Um, we are gonna go ahead and let's put him on the ground temporarily so that we can enjoy some dinner because our little honey boo bear is actually a little bit hungry and she's pregnant, so we gotta feed her, so. Let's go ahead and grab a plate. Have both of them grab a plate while he picks his nose. Very, very nice. Where's the horse so we can flick our boogers at the horse? <laughs> this man better not pick. Oh, it's Ro it's Rojas. <laughs> it's Rojas. It's Bryce. Hey, Bryce. Oh, look at you. It's tanning. Oh, yes, you tan. <laughs> okay, sorry. I got distracted. Anyways, um, Sue, they are eating and having their little picnic. I'm surprised Ross is not burning up. Like, I would be burning up wearing that. Burning up. Burning up. But you... No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, what can we do with Cameron? Let's go ahead and teach him how to walk. I feel like that would be a fun little thing for them to do because my whole intentions was for them to spend time together. So, that's exactly what I'm going to let them do. I was going to have them play in the ocean, but obviously we can't because... The coastline is a little too high up. So instead, um, what can you do? I mean, you're pregnant, so I really don't want you to do anything too crazy. Um, let's just, um, let's skip some stones for a bit. Why not? And if she is feeling a little bit of allergy haze. Dude, what is going on? Fine, make yourself play in the sand. Gosh, pregnant butt. You can't do any of that anyways. Look how cute. <laughs> he's so cute. Like, he's so adorable. I just love me some redheads. They're so cute. Especially my little Cameron. He is adorable. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. My baby. 
I can't wait to have a girl. Like, I'm so excited. So freaking excited. Selena's like, listen, I don't care anything about your walking. All I want to do is make the sand doom. So get out of my way before I cause doom in your life. Listen, she's so cute. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. Y'all were given such, like, Ross such a hard time. I was too, honestly. I was giving him a hard time. But honestly, like, he went through some rough patches. And I've kind of grown to like him, like, a lot. And I like him and Selena together. And I like their little family. I mean, obviously, we need more kids. But the little family that we have grown so far, I think that Cameron is absolutely perfect. And I wouldn't have him any other way. He's so cute. I feel like I'm my own parent, like, literally talking about a sim kid. Girl, what are you doing? Calm your titties. It is not that serious. But, yeah. I wouldn't change it for the world. He's so cute. Like, I'm just my son my son okay but um anyways sure um sorry i am trying to text somebody about dinner today and um hold on give me one hey second guys, i can't text and play sims at the same time so i had to respond to a text message before i finished um also this video may not be in the greatest of quality because honestly i need to render this video kind of fast so i think it's only going to go up to 720p um usually when i render in 1080p it literally takes two hours and i just don't have two hours like i just don't i do not have two hours okay so they're doing their thing she is making her sand castle like a freaking weirdo just feet all in the sand, living her best life. She actually wants to get a tattoo, which I feel like would be so cute. I'm totally down for doing that. Why don't we do that today? That would be fun. That'd be a fun adventure to go get a tattoo. Let's do it. Um, but for right now, actually, you know, we'll do in the next part or we'll wait till after she has the baby. I feel like that would be a cute little addition after she's just given birth to go ahead and get it. Dude, dude with the car, can you shut up please? I'm trying to film a video so inconsiderate i'm just saying all right so they are still going at it um i want to see how far he's gotten will it not show me i think because i just took a picture in my game earlier hold on uh off oops off hide headline effects oh okay so i should be able to see the level bar at some point hopefully dude it is so pretty outside it is a little weird that bryce is playing in the sand by himself or in the ocean by himself like a freaking weirdo like i feel like bryce is honestly stalking us like literally it seems like everywhere we go he turns up you know what i mean like it, it's a it's a little weird like, it's a little weird like we're literally here with our family rosa is nowhere to be seen and he's just playing in the ocean by himself it kind of gives me creepy stalker vibes like he's just kind of stalking selena and i honestly feel a little weird about it um because literally everywhere that we've been so far and quote me this if i'm wrong every single place we've been except for the ice cream shop where those girls really tried it ross has, bleh, 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 oh my god can't say their names right but rice has been there everywhere when we went to the festival he showed up when we went to the freaking I don't know. When we went to the festival, he showed up. Now we at the beach. He's showing up. Like, I'm trying to figure out why is he following. Like, he's literally everywhere. It's so weird. And him sending those love letters. And it just, it it's getting a little creepy at this point. Like, dude, get over yourself. It's kind of annoying. But um, we are going to ignore it because Ross is a better man. He is with his, well, not a better man, but he's with his son. So he doesn't want to, um, he doesn't want to make anything like crazy or do anything insane. So he's just going to leave it alone. Uh, okay, now Bryce is coming up to Ross and complaining about something dude ross is like not living for bryce right now uh crystal's actually having a party but it doesn't seem like uh we're gonna go we are just gonna take our son and we are gonna leave because <laughs> this is getting a little bit too uncomfortable for selena's liking uh so she is gonna play with him and then she is going to head the f out because she does not want to get involved in this petty boy drama um but i am a little bit curious as to why every single time he's here 
Like, he's like, dude, I saw your freaking messages to my wife. I saw the way that you have been following us everywhere we go. What is your problem? It's just like, man, just be quiet. Me and Rosa are friends. It's like, mm, doesn't seem like just friends to me. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> he just slapped the dog mess out of him. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Our beach day just turned into a complete disaster. What is up with everybody trying us? I feel like every time we just want to have a, fa a perfect family outing and just be so cute and sweet, it always turns into garbage booty. I don't understand. Oh my God. He just got slapped by bra. Oh God, the tea. Oh no. Okay. We're going to have to slap you back, Bryce. I mean, you started it, man. You shouldn't have, st oh, look at his face, look at his head. He like, what did I do? What did I do? I just slapped this man. I shouldn't have done that. Oh my God. How awkward for Rosa and Selena. Um, their husbands are literally gonna hate each other. And it is honestly um, Bryce's fault. So, I mean, because he's been hitting on Selena. If he would have never sent those love letters or been kind of stalking her. Um, then, you know, none of this would have happened. So I don't know. It just feels a little bit weird. And I, I have a little sketchy feeling about, um, Bryce as a person. No, now he's trying to talk to us. He's trying to be nice. <laughs> Ross is like, dude, I don't want to hear it. Like you're stalking my wife. You can get out of my face with all that. So Ross is on his way home. How freaking awkward. Uh, Selena is going to go put Cameron to bed. Um, actually, do we have a, we're going to go ahead and buy a potty so we can show him how to release his fluids that did not sound right ew okay uh cut that out kennedy cut cut that out okay we are gonna go ahead and potty train cameron really quick and um yeah she looks so cute pregnant i love her she looks so cute i cannot wait to have this baby like you guys don't understand i am so freaking excited so excited um ross are you almost home honey boo boo because you need to hurry up um i'm actually gonna have him pay the bills and check the mail real quick because we have a lot of bills and we need to be paying them because i'm not trying to have the repo man up at our house stealing our stuff i'm just saying so i'm gonna have him pay the bills really quick and then i'm gonna have him get the mail and see what we got if we got any presents or something that would be awesome uh let's see another one <laughs> another one not <I'm> kidding <laughs> okay that was so overplayed listen another message from bryce are you kidding two there's two there's two you guys cannot say that he's not stalking her there is two of them oh my god this is so weird like this is so weird so it says Dear Selena, I can tell that you are a very special person, and if we didn't take the chance to get to know each other better, I would regret it forever. Literally the same exact letter sent twice. That is creepy, you guys. It is getting to that point where I feel like Bryce is like obsessed with her. I don't know, but that would make for some really great tea and drama, just saying. So, um, what is... Okay, our little baby is... He obviously did not use the bathroom, so we're going to go ahead and change his dirty diaper. And we are also going to feed him on the floor real quick. And then I'm going to have Selena go ahead and shower and use the bathroom. And then I'll have Ross put Cameron to bed. All right. So, um, honestly, I kind of want Ross to have some friends because I feel like he doesn't really know anybody. And I feel like the perfect person for him to try and be friends with would be Tyrese because... Tyrese is an ex, but, or a guy that we used to date, kind of, but he never really tried to contact Selena in a weird way like Bryce is. I mean, I would feel some type of way if Bryce wasn't married already and if he didn't have kids. It's just a little bit weird. So I'm actually going to have him send a few friendly text messages to Tyrese. Just say, hey man, you know, I've seen you in town, you know, maybe we should hang out. That sounds... Like he's trying to hook up with Tyrese. It's fine. You know what? Whatever. Whatever we got to do. Whatever works. Okay. We're going to make some friends because I feel like Ross does not have a lot of friends. And uh, 
she has her squad, which is Crystal and Rosa, and then Ross doesn't really have any friends. So, although his best friends could be his kids, just saying. But uh, anyways, I'm going to have him speed through. He also wants to read a pregnancy book, which I feel like would be... I'm actually going to go ahead and give him the book that Selena had. And our cat is freaking tearing up our apartment or our house, whatever. But it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see. It's... Uh... What am I thinking about? Oh, let's put Cameron in his crib. Let's go ahead and do that and get it over with. Hopefully, Selena's just dropping a deuce, like right with her kid in the room. It's, it's a little weird, but that's fine. All right, so we are going to have Ross pick up Cameron, and they are going to go, and he is going to drop him off real quick. Okay, okay. All right, so we have put baby Cameron to bed. Everybody shut up because he is trying to sleep, okay? We're going to go ahead and have Ross stay up a little bit later and read Totally Preggers because this girl is probably going to pop soon, and so I feel like it's a perfect time for him to go ahead and read the book so that uh, he can be ready and prepared whenever she does pop because I feel like she's got at least a day, if not less than that, before she has this baby. Um, it could even be overnight when she has this child. I really don't know. Um, I'm a little nervous. Who is calling her at one in the morning? Is that her? Or is it somebody else? Well, it's gotta be Selena. Who else would? Oh, I guess that's the party. Sorry, Crystal. We don't wanna come to the old lame party anyways. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, but I do actually am interested or I am interested in seeing Crystal's kids and stuff like that. So hopefully by the time um, he gets older, Cameron gets older, he'll be able to be friends with at least Crystal's kids or Rose's kids. I don't know. But we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to speed through this process because I don't really care about this. Ross is going to stay up pretty late. He's kind of a night owl. He likes staying up late because he's a writer. So he likes writing and stuff and doing all that so reading is definitely a like of his so i'm actually gonna have him stay up just a little bit longer it's actually ross's birthday tomorrow that shouldn't be correct hold on guys i need to fix my aging because definitely it was not like this before i think it's because i reset my graphics card so i will be right back okay that's right sorry um I every time I reset my graphics card because I have my game at specific aging so whenever I reset it it resets all of my games so I have to go back and fix literally everything so it's just really difficult to do every single time I reset my graphics card it's kind of annoying but whatever all right so he's almost done with the book almost there oh you're almost done haha -ha. okay so I'm gonna have him use the bathroom and then he's gonna go to sleep because we're done all right, you guys, so I, what I'm going to do is I am going to let them sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning when they wake up. All right, so, oh my God, I was so nervous because it looked like Selena was about to have her baby because she literally just woke up randomly in the middle of the night. I mean, it is 6 o'clock, but she just randomly woke up, so I was kind of freaked out. I was like, oh God, I am not prepared for this. But look at her little pregnancy belly under her little outfit. She looks so cute. Okay, so I'm actually going to have her go ahead and serve up Actually, I'm not going to have her cook because she's not that great of a cook. I feel like Ross is definitely the cook. Yeah, he definitely is. So um, I am going to have what's going on with Cameron. He needs a little bit of social. So I'm actually going to have who is calling her. Is it her? Yeah, somebody's calling her. Answer your phone. Oh, it's Rosa. OK, cool, because I was actually going to call her anyway. So I'm kind of happy that she called. Yes, we can talk. OK, I'm going to actually like let ross sleep a little longer because yeah they're talking about the baby and that selena might know what the gender is but she's not sure i have a feeling it's a girl if it's not a girl i'm gonna literally be surprised because my families in my game are avid and well known for having girls like they always have girls I, I think the only family that had two boys back to back was the Austins and that's about it. And honestly, I was shocked about that. I was a little, little shook. I was like, what the heck? Okay. All right. So let's take care of camera cam real quick. Really, really quick. Let's see what's going on with Cammy Cam. You're so cute. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and toss him in the air. They just look so much alike. It's so cute. Like I can't get over how cute they are. I just can't wait for her to have a daughter because she's going to look so much like her. Also, it would be interesting if our next kid was a blonde because, I don't know, it'd be weird if, like, 
Cameron turned out a redhead and then our kid after that turned out to be a blonde. How weird would that be? Okay, so she is hungry. So we're actually going to go ahead and put down Cameron and we are just going to eat some cereal since our husband is not awake to cook for us because <laughs> he's usually the person that cooks. He usually cooks her dinner or breakfast every morning, but maybe he can cook dinner tonight. So we'll go ahead and have her have cereal and we are going to have him play with his little peg box. I'm so excited, you guys. I can't wait for this baby. Oh, my God. And oh, my God, that tea with Bryce. Like, that was too much to handle. I don't even know how to react. I don't know what the heck happened, why they fought. I'm just so confused. And Bryce is obsessed with us. Like, he's literally obsessed with us. It was cute at first, but now it's getting a little bit weird where he is married and has a kid and he's still sending us love letters. Like, he is obsessed with Selena. I'm sorry. I hate to be that girl because I know a lot of you guys are huge Bryce fans. But it's getting a little creepy at this point. It's not even um, infatuation. It seems kind of like an obsession. And that's a little weird. So I don't know. Okay. So she has a lot of lifetime reward points. Ooh, you know what we could get with that? Let's get the fertility treatment. Because, I mean, even though she's pregnant already, it would be really cool to get that. So then we could have a higher possibility of having twins. So I am actually going to get the fertility treatment and not only that but i am going to also get um where is it prepare traveler immune to the cold most multitasker where is it it's that thing where you like a fast learner that's what i want all right that way we can increase our logic skill really fast and we can actually improving it so i'm gonna have her go over here and work on the car body um ross needs to get up because he has been asleep all day like literally get off your lazy butt okay go eat cereal since you didn't cook this morning we we're very disappointed in you your wife's pregnant um also cameron is having a fit i can literally hear him in the background screaming so yeah we're gonna speed on through this because there's nothing really crazy going on i really want this car to be done like, I'm so excited for it to be finished. It's really close, too. It says that we have uh, till 11.30 a.m., I think, tomorrow, obviously, because 11.30 has passed in the game already. So it's got to be 11.30 tomorrow. Who is calling her? Dude, why is she so popular? Answer your phone. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, so it seems like um, Crystal just gave birth to a baby girl named Frances uh rosa dude you're obsessed with us too okay crystal just gave birth to yeah a baby girl named francis wait what hold on yeah francis is isn't francis a guy name i mean i'm not gonna judge i mean whatever you do what you want but i feel like that's a guy name maybe it's not okay so anyways we are going to go ahead maybe it's francis francis that sounds so bougie <laughs> my name is francis all right i'm gonna have ross play with cameron and look how cute they are he's getting so frustrated um all right you guys so i think this is actually the perfect part to go ahead and look at his eyelashes oh my god okay sorry this is the perfect part to go ahead or this is the perfect stopping point to go ahead and end this episode right on here go ahead and leave me some cute little baby names down below because you guys know that i am obsessed with seeing you guys' opinions on baby names because I'm really bad at picking names and stuff like that. So please, 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 please leave me some baby names down below. Also, let me know what you think was the situation with Bryce and Selena and also Bryce and Ross. Like, do you think it was a matter of time before Ross lost it? Do you think that Bryce was right for slapping um, Ross? And do you think that Bryce is obsessed with Selena? What do you think? That would be honestly a really good drama storyline, just saying. But anyways, so let me know in the comments down below. Um, it seems like Rosa's calling us a lot too. So is there something going on at home that maybe we don't know about? Maybe there's something a little off on, you know, about Bryce that maybe we just didn't realize. Maybe it's because he's a zombie. He's a little off. I don't know. But uh, anyways, you guys, I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys. And I will see you on Thursday for my very next video. Bye. <laughs>